Which must stick. And <laughs> Hey everyone, this is Chef Steven. I am back in my kitchen cooking some lamb shanks today. Um, I'm a big fan of lamb. I love the gaminess. I love the texture, especially with lamb shanks. This is one of those recipes that have to be cooked down low and slow. As the more they get cooked, the more tender they get, you know? Now, I love lamb so much that I actually wrote a song about lamb shakes. Do you want to hear it? Okay, I really didn't write one, but you know. Yeah. Anyways, this is a recipe out of my cookbook, Chef Steven Gonzalez Get Your Grub On. Very easy to follow. It has a few ingredients. So we got a bit of some red wine. We got our vegetables. We got some herbs, tomatoes. We got our cookbook here so that way we can use that for notes and stuff. But the most important part is our lamb shake. So with all this being said, let's get started. Okay, the first thing that you want to do is get all your ingredients together. We cut our vegetables, we got our herbs, we're going to season our lamb with a little salt and pepper. While we're doing that, we've got a nice thick pot on our stove top at a slightly higher temperature than medium. The reason being is because you want to get that good sear on your lamb shanks whenever you put them in. Um, if you have it too high, you're going to char the outside. Uh, if you have it too low, you're not really going to get that sear coming out. So with that being said, got this going, let's season our lamb shakes. Now you don't want to over season them as all the flavors will intensify as it cooks down. All right, let's start cooking. A little bit of olive oil, grapeseed oil, avocado oil, whatever you want to use. Put in just about a couple tablespoons worth and we're going to let that come up to a light smoke. When it starts to lightly smoke, that's how you know that your oil's ready. So we're starting to get that little smoke out. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's there. What you want to do is just carefully put your lamb shanks in there. We're gonna let that all sear off for a few minutes per side. Then we're gonna start adding all of our vegetables, our wine, our broth, let it all cook down. Now we've got a really good sear on our lamb shanks. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of some red wine in there. The reason for that is because anything that gets stuck to the bottom is gonna come right off. Not to mention we're also adding some flavor. Of course, if you're going to pour a little bit, have a little bit for yourself, but drink responsibly. All right. I think that's a good point. We can start adding our vegetables, our broth. Now, we're doing a little bit of some beef and chicken broth. And we're going to cover it all up, let it cook down really low. Now that everything's in our little Dutch oven, we're going to turn our heat on real low. We're going to cover this up. And then we're just going to let it go for about four hours, give or take. If you're making more than two lamb shanks, of course, you're going to use a bigger pot. Let it go a little bit longer. But in this case, about four hours on a really low setting. That's all you're really going to need. This is where we're at after about an hour or so. We're going to let it cook down for a few more hours and go from there. Okay, this has been going for four hours now. We're gonna pull this out. And the bone is pretty much coming off clean. What we're gonna do is put these into our nice bowl. We're gonna get a little bit of the broth that's left over. We're gonna heat that up with a little bit of butter to kind of make a sauce. It'll only take but a second. We'll get to that here in just a second. Now for our sauce, there's gonna be a lot of broth left over. I love using a lot of broth. So what I do is I make a little sauce with that. The rest of it, use it to make some grits. Use it to make uh, some vegetables. There's a lot of different things you can use that broth for or save it for a soup or a sauce for another time. But this is what we're gonna do real quick. Just I like to keep all the vegetables in here because it's just gonna be hearty 
and it's gonna help give it that extra flavor. I tasted it, it needs just a little bit of salt and that's gonna be something we're gonna do at the very, very end because you could put salt in, but you can't take it out. So I wanna make sure that if we're gonna taste it, it's gonna be flavorful, not salty. All right, we're cooking down some of the broth. I threw a little bit of some vegetables in there, some of the carrots, some of the tomatoes, maybe a little bit of the onion, the celery, and we're gonna boil that down. Normally I would add a little bit of some tomato paste to help thicken it up a little bit quicker, but the problem with that is that you're gonna have too much acid in my opinion, so we're just gonna add a little slurry into that. Equal parts cornstarch and water, and we're gonna let that thicken up real quick. All right, now we're gonna turn it off because we're gonna add a little bit of butter to it. And the reason why I'm doing that is because if you add a really cold butter to a really hot pot or pan in this case, you're gonna separate everything. So we're gonna let it slowly melt in. We've got everything ready to go. We've got our lamb shanks, we've got our sauce, we also made a little bit of some cauliflower, some broccoli, some extra vegetables to kind of complement everything. Now we have to plate it all up. Real quick, what we're gonna do, we're gonna get a little spoonful right in the center of our plates. All right, next step, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna get our lamb shanks. We're gonna put this right in the middle. If you can balance it, great. If it falls over, you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. Next thing you want to do is put all of your vegetables kind of all around. Just put a few around the plate. If you got a little bit left over, that'll be okay because leftovers are usually pretty good. The last thing that we want to do is get a little bit of our sauce that we made and pour this right over the top. I like to let it just kind of go all over. It's gonna make a little bit of a puddle and that's okay because that flavor will get all over the plate. And next th thing you know, you're just gonna need a little bit of some bread to sop it all up. But get some of your vegetables from your plate, throw some in around because it just gives it extra flavor. Now that it's done, I have a little piece of lamb right here. Melts like butter, tastes great. The, the butter from the sauce, from everything, tastes amazing. So as you can see, very easy recipe, directly from my book. Go to chefstevengonzalez.com to get a copy. I'll sign it and send it to you. Go to Facebook, Chef Steven Gonzalez, or Chef Stegons on Instagram. Regardless, I hope you learned something today. Follow me and make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Catch you next time.